talk about minoring metals and we're going to go about square edges here and I just want to talk a little bit about this type of metal and what it is is just to hide the edge of the tile. I'll just grab a piece here and it just hides an edge so it looks like a nice little finished edge here. But to have a little bend there's certain ways you can do it. Normally what I do is I grab my chop saw and I chop the two, two edges on a 45 so when you put them together like so it looks nice. Okay, so when I put my tile here, I put these edges together, for instance. As you can see, we have a nice corner 45 edge there. Now I just find that a lot of times this edge gets sharp and a lot of times it's hard to match these corners depending on where you're at. And most of the time it's actually on... Um, say your uh, vanity splashes in the bathroom where a lot of people would just want to pour in the water around and you got to bend the metal down. So this is what I do actually, and I want to explain it to you on the board, is what I do with the metal here is I 45 this end and I nip this end out because the metal looks like this. So there's an edge here you want to nip here or it's going to bend in bow and I will show you that here in a minute, what happens if you don't nip this end here and only this end. So when you bend them together, you're going to come with a nice bend here, which is going to end up looking like this with a bent, and it's a nice clean finish, and you don't have a cut edge here. So I'll show you. This was already pre-cut, but if I go this route, this is a nice clean finish, nice rounded edge, and it's not sharp here on the end. So a lot of times it's great to finish off this way if you can actually bend the metal. So I'm going to show you a little example of what I do. I like to have two sets of nippers. One's long because when you want to 45 these, the short ones just don't get in. And I like the short ones because they're really sharp and I can get this little edge up top here. So if you have a mark, you just follow your mark. So I like to cut this on a 45. So we're going to cut this. If you don't cut it on a 45, when you bend it, the metals will butt up and it'll overlap and then you're going to have problems with it matching. So we're just going to get that little end out, 45 that like so. But now, like I said, I got to get this end because if I don't get this end, this is what's going to happen because I didn't nip this. I nipped it here and like I said, we had a nice clean finish. But here, for instance, see what happens is like that corner won't go in because this actually rounded and said it went square. As you can see, right? If I could put these tight together as possible, you'll see that the finish isn't nice. Okay? So that's why it's so important to nip that end. And you want to get a metal that actually looks like this. Bend guard is not a good uh, metal product to bend because what's going to happen is when you bend this, it ends up cracking in here. With the Sluder metal, these are nice and soft metal, so when you bend them, you don't get the crack. That was just one prime example, and you'll find one day that if you use the Bengard metal, it's just the company that you won't be, like, they're good metals, but you just can't do the bending with them. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed with this one here. So I'm just going to nip this little end and get it as straight as possible, so when I bend it, it's going to bend nice and straight and not crooked. So we're just going to take that nip out. So now you can see that I got this nip out and I got this. So now what we're going to do here, we're just going to do a little slow bend, like so, you see? Then when I put it up into a 45, like so here, we got a nice corner finish. If you can see, it's not on a 45 here. It's a nice clean finish. As, like I said, this one was the same, but with the bent corner here, if you don't nip that corner out, you're gonna get that process. And why I like bending these, like I said, because it's not sharp on the corner to put the two miter ends together. It leaves for a sharp edge here. And why I worry about sharp edges, because even if people clean or whatever, but say in a shower, for instance, if you have a bench here, and I wanna bend my metal like so, you know, onto this bench, that leads to a sharp, dangerous corner here in this spot here. So if you hit this corner, that could hurt or you're going to scratch yourself or cut yourself. So that was my tip of the day. Like I said, a smoother metal is the best for bending because it won't crack. 
Dengar will crack. You can use those as long as you're not bending them. And if you want to do the miter cuts with your chop saw, and I just find this takes a lot of time, still looks nice. But this is also a nice finish as well. I'm Joe Gazer, Red Seal Certified Tile Setter. Until next time, see you later.